Welcome to the Revenge of the Forsaken Gods and I am your host Andrew Balongo Pere and in today's episode I'm very excited to be hosting a musician and uh, what I'm curious to learn is what's the wisdom we can learn from the life experience of a musician? What does it take to be a, a musician on a world-class level? And uh, because musicians impact our lives. So I have someone here who is considered a national treasure <laughs> by her colleagues. Real life. These are not my words making it up. These are their words. So they mentioned that, uh, uh, yes, she is a national treasure. She's an extremely talented musician, producer, arranger, songwriter. And to top it all, she has a voice that the Almighty bless the world through her. <laughs> She shares her gift generously with ease and generally loves what she does. And we hear it and we see it every time she sings. It is something that every person should experience numerous times in their lives. Aww. And it is well worth your money. Come on now. So officially her LinkedIn says that she is a singer, songwriter, arranger and producer. An interesting thing is she has attended one of the most, the largest independent college of contemporary music in the world, a.k.a. Berkeley College of Music, mm -hmm. which has a notable uh, alumni like Eric Wanaina, who is the, uh, he's considered uh, the musician who has spent the unofficial Kenyan national anthem. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, she is an engineer also. And last but not least, before we bring her on, I just got to say this from your friend. On one hand, she carries the grace and beauty like a swan. Wow. And on the other hand, she possesses a gentle fierceness. I wonder if she'll uh, pick, in fact, I'll ask you, this is a question. I wonder <laughs> if she'll pick if you ask her what wild animal embodies her. <laughs> so without further ado, the Berkeley College Music alum, <laughs> the lady who is a national treasure that the world needs to listen to. 